you got married young, your husband had your every little thing planned out in your life and kind of cool that some of it actually kind of happened the, the yeah. way that he did. We've had a lot of boy dogs as the fourth. So, so I feel like that kind of counts. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. So you were also, which you didn't mention in the story, the wife of somebody working in the military. Now, I do not come from a military family. That's not something I have any knowledge of, but I know it's a very, very different lifestyle. So what was it life being married to somebody in the military? So he went into the military after we were married. And it was a joint decision um, after we were married and after we had our first um, son, Christopher. And um, so he he was very young. He um, tested very high and went into the army. Um, our first duty station um, as a very young couple, right? Very um new, just have this baby. Our first duty station was Hawaii, which most people are like, oh my gosh, wonderful, right? But it's very expensive in Hawaii. He went in as enlisted um, person. He was, you know, he wasn't out of college, couldn't be an officer. Um, so he, he went in enlisted um, and then went to college through his military, the beginning of his military career. And we bounced around. Um, I've lived in uh, I know on your post, seven different states. Um, we had our second two kids in Hawaii when we were stationed there. But um, being being married and, and being in the military, we it really builds resilience. And um, and I think it's amazing for children to raise children in in the military. And and let me just share it's because we were moving every two to three years. Um, moving. So for me personally, right, um, not while the babies were young, I, I, I did take the opportunity, I, I was blessed enough to, to be able to hang at home uh, with the kids when they were little. Um, but just getting to raise those kids around different cultures, different states, different people, people from all over the world are in the military, right, because you have joint forces on the bases, etc. So um, our kids were raised around um, the, the ability to pack up, move, integrate, meet the folks that you live around and um, really not see, again, not see race or, or gender or anything just to, to meet and, and build a relationships every two to three years. You're just consistently rebuilding. Um, so that's, that's really, you know, it, and, and it was tough too, because he was also, um, if y'all recall the, the first desert storm, uh, you know, deployed right after probably when my second son was about a month old, uh, he deployed. So I was on my own with the two babies for a good six months and, uh, that's tough, but there's also such a sense of community in the military. Um, and there's wife groups, mothers at that time, you know, now I bet you it's a bunch of parents because there's such a, a, a great um, influx of stay at home dads these days. Um, but at that time, it was a lot, really a bunch of young females, right, that would get together. And again, that sense of community to, to make it through until the husbands come home and and that kind of thing. So it's it's a really interesting. Um, the military is really interesting. So, but it there were a lot of learning experiences um, growing up in that environment. 